Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got the pleasure of being outdoors, my yes, boy. it's pretty nice. First time uh, this year we've managed to get outdoors for a little filming. It's uh, a nice little change from the studio. It is nice and it's a nice day. It's a lovely day and it's lovely, it's always a nice day when you're at Magna Golf Club. Yeah, this place is super, it's, super nice. Yeah, it's a pretty special place. Um, so today we're gonna do a, a whole host of different turf related videos. Mm. Um, but we're going to start off with a little a one and more on the, on the kind of fun, yeah. uh, you know, rather than techy uh, sort of topics. And something for the person who goes to the golf course and they have a chip from various lies and they are terrified because yeah. they're expecting to blade chunk or otherwise. There's been some clubs come out on the market that kind of claim to make that easier. Yeah. And we're going to test one of them today. Yeah, I think one of the, the things that indoors that people kind of, you know, challenge us with is... The, the mat, the perfect yeah. environment, you know, the, the, the lack of external conditions that could influence your delivery. Well, that's, th this is a perfect day to do yeah. this type of test. So Definitely. Um, this wedge is called CG Cutter. Yes, and I believe Rick Shields has tested this one already at some point. Okay. That's the only other video I've seen of it. It is unusual to say the very least. Yeah, different shape for sure. Sort of a triangular face, we'll call it. Yeah, the, I think the, the idea is, uh, is Matty, that the kind of the shape is designed to kind of really, you know, by, by the name, cut through anything right. that's in front of it. So, right. you know, think of the front of a boat, think of the front of a, uh, you know, like a plow, right. right? When it's trying to kind of plow something off to the side, you know, it's trying to disperse that matter and, and kind of, you know, obviously make contact with the golf ball. Whereas here we have the kind of conventional wedge with the flat front. Right. Um, and, and if there's something, you know, in front of it, you're, you're going to take the full force of that. For sure. Yeah, there's a lot less surface area here that's yeah. going to get kind of stuck in the in the turf. Exactly. So we're going to challenge righty Matt. Chipping debut. One. Yeah, chipping <laughs> debut. Obviously, his long game is in... Uh, Phenomenal order with the halo irons. That's right, my yep. new halo irons. New halo irons. So, you know, I guess on that same thought process, we mm. challenge conventional wisdom a little bit with that design. Yes. We're doing the same with wedges here. You know, is there golfers out there that if they are challenged in certain parts of the game, that golfer we looked at, maybe it was height, maybe it was, you know, ball striking, whatever yeah. it was, that golfer we saw could clearly benefit from a technology like Halo. Yes. Who is the golfer that's going to benefit from this type of thing? Definitely. And potentially save a bunch of strokes in a round. Because if Absolutely. you're chunking wedges around the greens, you're making doubles and triples all day. Yeah. Yeah. If you build that confidence, I mean, it's obviously it's, it's not the most you know, conventional or, or pretty looking golf club no. to most people's eye. But, you know, I think if the effectiveness or, you know, the ease of use is, is through the roof, then you could soon get over all that. Yeah, you'd forgive it quite easily, I think, if you started getting some yeah. consistency out of it. So it's a 56 degree, 12 bounce yes. by, by kind of uh, design. We're going to do a 56 uh, with this conventional wedge as well. Uh, hit some hit some shots with it, take a little look at some changes to the to the numbers. Uh, we're going to vary the lies. Okay, perfect. We're, we're going to head from, you know, a nice lie here around the green. We're going to go over to the rough and then we're going to end up in the bunker. Yeah, uh, see what's see, what. See how it is in there. Sounds good. Okay, let's hit a couple of openers, Matty. Okay, so hopefully the mic's caught that. Yes. Bit of a heavy strike. Definitely. Bit behind it. You know, no, no turf brought up. No. To me, that's almost the technique you want to try and use with this club. I think so. You need I, to feel a little bit of thump there. I think you'll, you want to just bang that, that sole into the ground a little bit. And it didn't dig whatsoever. Let's see what we got. I mean, 42 launch, 1800 and, well, 1900 spin. Obviously, we're not really looking at launch and spin on this, but no. it will be interesting to look at, you know, some of the, the characteristics from a design standpoint. Uh, you know, because we don't want people hitting these shots with this club or, or, you know, if it turns out to be that way and go, it doesn't spin. Well, I'm looking at the amount of mass underneath. Yeah, I don't think you should expect this to no. spin. I mean, High up here, launch, low it spin. weighs nothing. It's just yes. meant to pop the ball up in the air. And I think exactly. a lot of people will say, why well, play on reasonably slow greens? If the ball hits steep enough, it's going to stop. Exactly. Okay. okay, a couple more. That was nice. Yeah, that really was good. okay. You take that, I mean, you've got, what, six feet? I would take that all day. Left-handed. Left-handed, <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's a little better. So good. 
So that one stopped a little quicker because you elevated it a little more. Yes. Similar numbers, 44 launch, 1800. It's not nice. Just a little harder. So you're striking those pretty centered, but yeah. it's, it's a fraction toe side, but. Definitely. It's good. And the toe is smaller than on most wedges, but yeah. it didn't seem to, like I don't feel it twisting around. It felt quite nice. Well, you wouldn't want to hit one in the toe with this one because there is no toe, you'd the toe miss the ball. Exist. Yeah. <laughs> what you're referring to was a miss. Okay, I'll try to get one a little closer to the pin if I can. Okay. Okay, so a little thinner that one's came out a bit lower, but nice. It actually stopped, didn't it? Look at those three, right? So you've kind of got this golfer that's never really chipped right-handed. Right. So we're calling you. What do we think? We could try to try and think a handicap for you in your right hand. If you were to go and play today, do you think you'd be what? Do you think you'd be a bogey golfer? Do you no, you could, no. I think I think I'd be happy if I could get around a hundred. Hundred. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's the thing. I saw that in the comments with the Halo video, like. You know, Matt's, you know, striking these way better. You would struggle to break a hundred. That's that is the thing. Well, you've got you to get the ball in the hole, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean that's the thing round the greens. Like wait till we wait till we have something that's not I a lie like this. In the it's rough gonna be and hard. The it's gonna be harder. But so, that, you're right, that one launched thirty three, spun yeah, at thirty six. Totally different. So it's capable of it if you get a little bit lower strike. But I yeah. think the beauty of it is that, you know, three pretty serviceable shots. Do they all Love look that. exactly the same like you're on tour? No. No. But Good results. You'd be pretty happy. Okay, let's switch out. So, I mean, this is this is a very high-tech, conventional wedge. Uh, this is the new Adele wedge. Um, it's a good looking wedge. Really good, unique weighting system. So this is for the opposite golfer. This is for the golfer who's thinking, you know, of the technical things okay. with regards to what they need. It's got a very unique sole design. Right. It's got a dynamic gold tour issue shaft. So this is the opposite golfer from the one who's yes. looking at the CG cutter. Not bad. I caught it a little heavy. Yeah, yeah, it turned over on you a little bit, but yeah, it was, I wouldn't be it was upset. okay. Nice. Best strike for sure. Yeah, that one was nice. Yeah, lovely. I chunked that one a bit. A little chunky. That's the one I didn't feel. So I took, I think maybe you'd see that's the first time I actually got into the turf. Yeah. And that was prior to the ball. Yeah. So maybe a little bit of the leading edge on this would be less forgiving. Okay. And that's where you might see the chunk shot. Okay, it wasn't a terrible result. It but was okay. I mean, you know, we, we get away with it. I think if we were in a, in a situation where maybe we had something to carry. Yes. With, with uh, you know, over a bunker or something like that. I think, again, that could expose maybe more of the benefits of this type of wedge if Definitely. we had to go over the... You know, if we were over there going over the corner of the rough or something like that. Because the one that I hit that I thought I fatted with that one, it never entered the turf. Yeah. I heard kind of the bounce hit it, but then the ball popped up nicely. Exactly. Okay, let's okay. hit Last one more. One. Yes, yeah, kind of similar. Similar. So, your your furthest golf balls by far. So, so three of the the ones that are furthest away were with this. The closest ones also with that. Yes. But the, the three with the, the CG cuts were, were, were a nice proximity. An average, yeah, an average proximity would have that closer. Okay. No doubt about it. More so that's consistent. interesting. Definitely. Um, straight out, the, uh, straight out the, the kind of, at the gate here. Let's head over to the rough. Yeah, let's do the rough next. Okay. So certainly not an easy kind of rough situation. This is fairly long, maybe Two and a half, three inches. Yeah, this. I mean, it's we, been raining too. We were just chatting with with Mike, the head pro, and you know he was saying that the rough out here has been really healthy, and you can see that that here uh, out at the club. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely challenge that both clubs here and and the technique in the in the, in rough, the rough. I think over there when we're in that nice clean lie matty, you know, you can kind of get away with a little early entry. Easily. You know, do that with this, it, it could really eat the club up and and kind of be be tough to generate enough speed. So. Let's uh, let's see a couple. Okay. That's it. Oh yeah, look at the height on that. That's it right there. <laughs> yeah, now that passed through that grass quite easily. Okay. Pretty similar too. Hit it a bit hard, but that's mm -hmm. come out nice. I mean, for as thick as the grass is, when you get it through there, you don't feel a whole lot of speed coming off of that. Okay, let's do one more with this one, then we'll go over to the Adele. Yeah, it, it really does come out pretty easy. Nice. It's not bad. Really nice. Give that a little bit more hit. 
Not bad. It. I, I do feel okay. it's slowing the club down a little bit more. That wasn't. I wouldn't hate that. I don't know that it has the same kind of amount of glide through, but. So yeah, it definitely comes out lower. Just it, a little bit lower and yeah. softer, isn't it? It looks like a very. I mean, it looks like a normal, a normal wedge shot from the rough. It's, yep. it's. You know, it's exactly what I would expect to look like. This one. This one jumps up super, super high. Super high. Yeah, so there, there's a definite difference to the way the, the two come out. I do feel a little bit more ball on the face with that one versus this one. Yeah, so yeah. maybe it is pushing some of the grass out of the way just before impact. Yep. And there's, certainly, there's certainly nothing wrong with this. I think you just have to really catch it just the right way. Yeah, let's go back to this one again. I'm curious to set a couple more with the... Yeah, that's nice. I just feel more of like, I actually hear more like actual Face. ball there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the height difference is quite amazing. It's quite different, isn't it? Because if, if that pin was closer, mm -hmm. you'd, you'd have an easier time with this. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not really opening the face segment. I'm not at all. Could. Yes, but yeah, you, true. But I mean, I think that's the beauty of it. I mean, the, the higher handicapper opening the face, playing those delicate shots. Like why bother? You, you wouldn't want to do that. You no. just or, or you know be really intimidating to sort of start doing that. The club's pointing in a different direction, and uh, although you know the front edge is, is is rounded so that it would still it still would align the True. face for you. True. But I just don't think a high handicapper is even thinking that way. And it doesn't appear to be necessary. Like no. the way the club works, as you said, there's so much mass low. Every yeah. single one of those shots with a standard swing just goes yeah. straight up yeah. in the air. Yeah, so somebody who's really struggling with that kind of handle drag and, you know, I, I just think there's mm. there's definitely a, a kind of technique to this where, you know, you're not being too wristy, you're, you're fairly hitting a stiff wristed little kind of basic pitch shot. Yes. It's, it's launching nice and high and, and it's just going to roll out towards the flag. I think it's, there, there is some merit to that. There's some merit to that for sure. Okay, let's go to the bunker. All right. I mean, bunker shots are hard enough. Yes. As a high handicap golfer, we have here about a... Uh, we think of probably about forty yard bunker shot, maybe yes. maybe kind of the hardest shot in golf for a Couldn't lot of imagine people. Imagine it being much harder, blind. You've got to probably carry it twenty five of those yes. uphill. This is tough. This is tough. And a lot of people will get doing this yeah. and trying to lift it up because they need to get it up over the lip there. And we'll just see. I'm I'm hoping that what happened in the rough was a, such a standard swing mm -hmm. popped the ball up high. Yeah. Curious if that will continue. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's sell this. This is going to be interesting. I'm fascinated whether this is magic or tragic. I'm fascinated. That's up there. <laughs> we dancing? We're so dancing. We've got the boys up in the green checking it. <laughs> uh, that was nice. That's not bad. Got a little, uh, some numbers in that. 24 carry. It's kind of what you said. Yeah, mid fours uh, spin, 44 and the launch. So tons of launch. And plenty of spin to make okay. a ball stop with with a straight face. Might be deep. I'm hoping that landed in the green, but that's came out like an absolute beauty. That's nice. That came out good. Quite nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. A little deep. A little deep. Interesting. I'm finding I'm getting really close to the ball contact okay. all of a sudden. So it's it's almost not taking enough sand or something with this Kind of feels like that, yeah. Jumping a little bit on you. Yeah, that's nice. Quite nice. So this sole's quite good as well. Working quite well. Okay. It's not bad. Just maybe a little less consistent. Second guessing with. a little bit the speed. So first couple kind of jumping out, then the next couple were obviously uh, probably overcompensated yeah. a bit, right? Yep. That's nice. That should have some zip too. Seven thousand. So what, what differences do you feel through the sand? I feel like this has a lot less resistance in the sand. It gets mm -hmm. through it quite a bit easier. So it's kind of with that one. If I pick it close to the ball it's nice it looks like it comes out but i have a hard time judging the speed yeah and then when i tried to adjust and take more sand i started leaving them short mm -hmm. this one just kind of feels like as long as i regulate the speed of my swing yeah the ball's coming out with quite a bit of speed every time like right. just just less um less getting stuck in the sand yeah that's what it feels like cutting through it a little bit just gets through it a little bit easier yeah 
how would you how would you sum that sum up the, the experience? Obviously, it's different looking. It can see some merit to it. There's higher launch. There's no higher question launch. about that. Um, how, how would you sum up and who would you say it's for? So I would go with somebody who wants to keep it really simple. You may only have one or two of these in the bag, like yeah. maybe a lower loft and a higher loft. Okay. Someone who doesn't want to mess with face angles, because mm -hmm. this one you can pretty much just put down square yeah. and just make the swing and it's going to get it out of Keep there. Keep it as basic as can be. Keep it as basic as can be. Don't, you know, I would feel with a regular wedge, even in the rough, like, yeah. do I need to lean into it more? Do I need to start doing this? Mm -hmm. This one, I just kind of just placed it in the yeah. same spot and made a swing. Yeah. So I would say if you're, if you're struggling to have any kind of baseline with your short game, mm -hmm. if you don't really know what's going to happen and you want to just go back to basics and make a similar motion on every shot and get yeah. a pretty expected result. I think that's probably what this is going to do for you. Not bad for that. Interesting. It may not be for you to develop your game further because yeah. it's a bit one dimensional, but if you're just, if you have no kind of, if you're struggling around the green and it's driving you crazy, yeah. it's worth a shot. I mean, I, I've never, I don't remember the last time, I've never hit out of a bunker. Yeah. And I got most of these out with this and it was, oh, it was fairly simple. Fairly simple. So there's something to be said for that. Yeah, I mean, we were we were laughing really about how difficult a shot this is and kind of how easy it became. Yep, just coming um, out easy. Coming out, so, yeah, I mean, it's different, isn't it? I mean, looking at the, obviously, the shaping of it and stuff like that, it's, it's a very unique looking wedge. It is. I think some people, maybe if, if you're, you know, if you're a higher handicap or newer to the game or whatever, and you don't really know much else, you know, it's not like you're you're kind of a connoisseur of a, exactly, a, a, you know, like that shape, like that leading edge, you know, that type of thing. You may not care. You might, you absolutely might not care. I think this, and I'm not meaning it in a, you know, a negative sense, but I think it's meant to be one dimensional. Yeah. I think they mean for you to set the club up fairly square, yeah. make a swing mm -hmm. without, you know, whatever the lie is and have the ball come out reasonably yeah. and give yourself a chance to like two putt for bogey Definitely. and not make those big numbers. I mean, we've all had a go at this morning. You and I, uh, the boys have had a shot yeah. of it and we're, we're all kind of, kind of laughing away at how, uh, how kind of easy it was. It is. It absolutely is. Interesting. Good stuff. Okay. Um, bit of a different one for us, you know, again, a, a topic we've you never really touched on is, is these kind of really specialty clubs no. uh, until now. This is definitely something unique. I, I didn't even know we were going to be doing this one today. Yeah, Ryan <laughs> brought it Ryan in, but it was a great, with it, so. great one. Yeah, but I think it's, it's worth uh, worth talking about as we've got different um, different golfers of all skill levels coming to the yes. game, coming back to the game and yep. uh, looking for ways in which they can, can maybe, maybe they've been struggling through the summer with the short game. How can they improve that? That's where Google comes in. You start going, okay, easiest wedge to, you know, get out the rough or a sand or whatever. You know, that's where these types of wedges yeah. are going to show up. This one will be in the conversation for that yeah. category for sure. Good stuff. Guys, let us know, uh, you know, if, if your short game is a struggle, if, if this is something that, that kind of appeals, you know, I don't think this is going to be for the wider demographic that who expect a no. video on TXG channel, but, um, you know, for, for maybe some new uh, followers or... Or a friend of yours that you play with, absolutely. maybe. Absolutely, yes, yeah. so exactly. That's yeah. a great point. Yes, yeah, somebody you play with who you can say, you know, maybe have a look at this. Have yeah, some more really fun out there. Point. Yeah, yeah, why not? Good stuff. Okay, let us know if you've seen it, tried it, uh, interested in it, not interested in it, whatever yeah, it may be. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, we want to hear it. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.